Moving on, India expressed its concern over the rise of terrorism at the United Nations and stated that nations that harbour terrorists should be denounced and held responsible for their actions. The comments were made on March 1st during Ruchira Kambot's India's permanent representative to the UN remarks at the United Nations Office of Counterterrorism ambassadorial level quarterly briefing to member states. A report. India continues its strong and focused commitment to help UN member states to build capacity and counter terrorism. Along with huge monetary contributions in the fight against terrorism, New Delhi is always very vocal about this global threat. At the United Nations, India voiced concern over the spread of terrorism and asserted that those countries which provide shelter to terrorists should be called out and held accountable for their deeds. The remarks came when India's permanent representative to the UN, Ruchira Kambod, was speaking at the United Nations Office of Counterterrorism Ambassadorial Level Quarterly Briefing to member states on March 1st. Cambodge emphasized that the threat of terrorism can only be through consistent and unified multilateral action by the international community. The threat of terrorism is serious and real. Regrettably, despite best efforts aimed towards transnational cooperation, it continues to spread, particularly in the regions of Africa and Asia. These are worrying trends and need urgent reversal. The threat of terrorism can only be tackled through consistent and unified multilateral action by the international community. Those states which lack capacities to tackle the threat of terrorism should be assisted, while those which provide shelter to terrorists should be called out and held accountable for their deeds. India stressed the need for the international community to focus its efforts on solving more pressing challenges such as the growing threat of financing terrorism, which has been made worse by terrorists and terrorist groups' use of cutting-edge technologies. India has hosted the third No Money for Terror conference in November 2022 and has offered to host the permanent secretariat for the conference in Delhi as one of the concrete outcomes of that event. In October 2022, India hosted the special meeting of Counterterrorism Committee, which had adopted the Delhi Declaration on countering the use of new and emerging technologies. Also, New Delhi has given the UN Office of Counterterrorism more than two million US dollars in recent years to support its global initiatives to stop the financing of terrorism and stop terrorists from traveling. We should exert our energy on addressing more serious issues, such as the growing threat of terror financing, which has been further exacerbated by the use of new and emerging technologies by terrorists and terrorist groups. New Delhi has been engaging with everybody around the world in order to curb the menace of terrorism. It has urged everybody to be on the same page when it comes to combating a common enemy. Recently, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Italy's PM Giorgia Meloni held wide-ranging talks in New Delhi during her visit to India. In their talks, India resolved to fight against terrorism and separatism in all their forms and manifestations as PM Modi strongly pitched for strengthening international partnership and concerted action in addressing the menace of terrorism. आतंकवाद और अलगाववाद के खिलाफ लड़ाई में भारत और इटली कंधे से कंधा मिलाकर चल रहे हैं। However, it has also been seeking reforms when it comes to working methods of subsidiary bodies of the Security Council. It said that the archaic and opaque methods must now be open, transparent, and credible. India wants these regimes to remain under constant review so that they keep pace with the changing situation on the ground. An extra push comes in the backdrop of Pakistan's intensified multi-layered efforts at infiltrating terrorists into Indian territory, denting harmony 
by stoking fanatic passions and flaring separatist agenda by working overtime to indoctrinate youths of Kashmir. Although they have been responded with an iron fist, Indian aim is to bring a perennial state of peace in the country and around the world. And for that, all it has been demanding is an integrated response to terrorism, no matter where it is emanating from.